Hello everyone, my name is Steven and today I'm going to be showing you how to create a wall blind cube wallpaper thing. Like at the beginning of the video you saw that picture, that's what we are going to be creating. So let's get started. First, let's bring this tab out so we can see what we're doing. The first thing that we're going to do is do the material. So change this to cycles render. Click use nodes and you can set the color to whatever you want. I'm going to go for like a greenish color, something a little bit darker, probably about right there. That looks pretty good. So now let's scale this cube down. So scale it down by pressing S and bring it down to about right there. That looks pretty good. Now let's add an array to it. So let's change, oh, change this value to like 1.04 and bring it up a little bit more probably like 14 let's copy that and then do the same thing except in the Y control C control V just like that change this one to zero and let's bring this one down just a little bit to 10 let's bring it down to 10 and copy that one more time change this one to zero and change this one on the Z to that and bring the count down to seven let's go eight that looks pretty good so now let's apply every single one of these arrays so apply 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 perfect now press tab to go into edit mode make sure you have everything selected then press P by loose parts and click that and this is probably going to take like a minute or so because it's a lot of cubes so I'm just going to pause and I'll be back with you. Okay, it's finished. Now the next thing that we're going to want to do is get the origin to every single one of these center cubes because right now the origin for everyone is right down here. and We do not want that. We want it in the middle. So, um, hold on. Go out of edit mode. <laughs> there we go. Now press A to so select everything, then Shift, Control, Alt, C, Origin to Geometry. There we go. Then everything will have its own origin and its own center thing. Perfect. Now we're ready to do the simulation. So first, press Shift A, and let's add a cube. Press 1 on the number pad, then 5 and place the cube right about there then place it in the center and you can scale it up just a little bit now press I and click location nope not rotation location then change this to 30 then bring it through to about there then press I location one more thing if you come up over here into this window and you press period on our dot whatever on the number pad it will bring you to where that's this cube is located in this little window and click the camera because we don't want it to show up in the render then come over here to physics and click rigid body and change this to animated just like that now go into top view and press Z to go into wireframe view and you can delete this lamp because we're not going to need it oh let me come on let me select it are you kidding me there we go and then delete it now box select every one of these except for this middle one right there and right click on one to make sure it's selected and then click rigid body good now come over to this panel and click physics copy from active and this will give every single one of these cubes the same physics just like that one more thing before we do the animation press shift C to snap your cursor to the center and shift A and let's add a plane and let's position it right about there and scale it up too good scale it up a little bit more 
Okay, now click the skip button to snap it to the beginning, then press Alt A. And this is going to go pretty slow because it's still baking it. Oh, hold on. <laughs> I forgot something. Go back, right click on the plane to select it, and click Rigid Body Physics. Change this to Passive. There we go, just like that. Now you can press Alt A. And then it should play. There you go, and you can see the cube is flying through it and creating an explosion. That's looking awesome. And then press Alt A when you're happy with whatever it looks like. That looks pretty good. So I'll zoom in a little bit, then Control Alt Zero to snap the camera to wherever I'm looking. Right click on the camera to select it. And let's bring it out just a little bit down and oh, right about there that looks pretty good yeah I like that okay let's do the material for the plane so right click on it to select it then click new on the material change this to mixed shader mixed shader and diffuse and Glossy, and you can bring the factor up just a little bit. One more thing that we need to do before we render if we add a point lamp, let's position that right about there, and then in front, just like that, you can change the strength to whatever you want. I'm gonna go with 3000 and give it like a bluish looking color. Oh, and then change the background to black. Perfect. And give it a render and let's see what that looks like. <sighs> it's coming out pretty cool. I'm liking it so far. Yeah, but as you can see, there's a lot of noise. Like right next to the cubes, there's a ton. So we're going to have to turn up the samples for a better picture. there we go it is finished awesome that is looking really good and I think we're ready to do a big render so let's turn the resolution up to about 87 sure <laughs> then let's go down to the sampling change this to like 500 and you can change the clamp to 3 I just like to do that just in case there's like fireflies or something and yeah there we go let's save it by pressing control s and I'm gonna call it flying cubes tutorial good then once you've saved it you can hit render boom so this is gonna take a lot longer so I'm gonna pause the video until it is done okay it is finally done that took like an hour or so but this was high res and at a lot of samples so it's good but here it is so yeah looks awesome I'm gonna save this and you can save it if you hover over the image and press F3 you can save it to wherever you want I'm gonna call it flying cubes tutorial and save there we go so that concludes this tutorial if you enjoyed it please leave a like and if you have any questions or if you make something cool, post it in the comments. I'd love to see what you guys make. So yeah, that does it. I will see you guys in the next tutorial. Goodbye.